Well, I saw this coming. There are some new figures coming out, and I'm going to give my thoughts on all of them. Because if I don't, you will not leave me alone. But before we get to the main events, the Spider-Man figures, we're gonna go ahead and talk about some other stuff. Oh yeah, you just got fucking pranked. We're not gonna be talking about Spider-Man. What? <laughs> you thought it was that simple? No, no, we're gonna talk about some good shit first. Uh, FYI, I do like the Spider-Man stuff, but we'll get to that later. First up, this company, um, I, I don't know what it's called. I think it's called InArt, is making a 112 scale, meaning six inches, Dark Knight Batman, Christian Bale Batman. <coughs> I saw this and I thought this was a Mafex 4.0, which I didn't even know was possible. But no, this is a completely brand new figure, as you can see. And the thing about this figure is that the Christian Bale head it looks like Hot Toys quality. It looks really good. Will I be picking it up? Uh, maybe? I already like my Mafex a, a lot, so I don't know. And thanks to 5K Toys, we know that a third party company is making a brand new Teddy Bogard! One of my favorite fighting game characters, cause he's just, he's just fucking awesome. It's Terry Bogard, you know, what's the wolf, you know, that shit. And might I say, this figure does look really good. It's got soft goods and it's 112 scale. So hopefully this will be in the same height range as the Jada Street Fighter stuff. Overall, this thing just looks sick. You know, I, I wish he came with like a happy head and a bit more effects, but overall, uh, I can't complain. I already got this on pre-order. I'm not missing that shit. Giving it to King of Fighters though, um, almost right after this third party company revealed they were making a new Terry, Storm Collectibles, I guess, saw it and thought, huh, you want a piece of that shit too? So they went ahead and re-released their Terry Bogard, along with Yuri, and yeah, that's pretty much it. These are reissues, I think, I actually, I think Yuri's new, but they are coming out, they're up for pre-order right now on Big Bad Toy Store, which normally I don't pre-order from, but Storm Collectibles are a good price on there, so... You know I had to do it to him. And again, staying with the fighting game stuff, we got our first look at the Storm Collectibles Morgan from Darkstalkers. And she looks pretty good. You know, she's properly as thick as an oatmeal. Uh, people were complaining about her face. And I have to say, I do agree, especially from the games I play her in, which is MVC. You know, she, she, the face could use some work, you know, it, it's, it's not all there. I don't, I don't even play Darkstalkers, I just know her from the crossover games. But this looks pretty good to me. I hope they make Felicia next. And a couple of my friends have have asked for characters like Dimitri and stuff like that, so hopefully they make those guys too. But yeah, Storm Collectibles, who would have thought I'd be talking about them, right? And then moving on, we got some breaking news just the other night at the time I'm recording this, Revel Tech, yes, Revel Tech, Amazing Yamaguchi, has just announced their new line of One Punch Man figures. Yes! But even more hype than that, they have announced that they have the Capcom license and they are making figures based on Street Fighter VI and Ninja Gaiden. Holy shit! One Punch Man is crazy. We needed good figures of those guys besides the Figma ones, and Revel Tech is the perfect. You know what? Just every anime shown in out there, give it to Revel Tech because they do not miss. Okay? These are gonna be fucking fire. They're getting Capcom. Revel Tech has Capcom. They're already making the Street Fighter. They're making Ninja Gaiden figures, which tells you that they're not afraid to cut deep for these. Can you imagine? We could get Revel Tech, Resident Evil figures, fucking Dante from Devil May Cry, Mega Man, Mega Man X, the sky's the limit, dude. Oh my god, you guys have no idea. When Revel Tech announced that they were making figures based on Street Fighter, Ninja Gaiden, One Punch Man, my fucking dick got so hard. So yes, uh, you know, just to, in case you couldn't tell, I, I, I'm pretty excited. And yeah, that was pretty good, good news. Um, all right, let's talk about Spider-Man. Believe it or not, I do have mostly good things to say about the Spider-Man reveals. 
Uh, here we go. First off, Hot Toys is making a symbiote Spider-Man based off Spider-Man 3. This is not any new, like, No Way Home shit. It's straight up Sam Raimi's Spider-Man 3. I was fucking delighted, dude. <laughs> this shit looks awesome. Look, look at Peter. Look at that fucking, that's just like him. I have the red and blue one on pre-order. I'm getting Goblin soon. And I, and that was it. I was like, these will be my only two. The only one I'll get after Hot Toys is the Joker probably. But nah, I have to fucking get this, dude. Come, come on, man. I've always wanted the original Spider-Man 3 black suit figure, but this shit right here. Oh my God, it's so good. Now, people do have complaints. They're saying it looks a little skinny. They're saying the Venom accessories look too much like Tom Hardy's. Um, the way I see it, the figure's build is fucking fine. I don't know what people are complaining about. And the original symbiote Spider-Man had no Venom accessories or any symbiote accessories at all. So I, I, I think I'll be okay with you know, the Venom head's not looking exactly like Raimi's trilogy. It's a Hot Toys, it's a good ass Hot Toys. And that's all I could ask for. This shit is getting copped, okay? All right, but now it's time to move on to the shit you've been waiting for, which is the fucking Marvel Legends. Okay, fine. But first, SH Figuarts put out a prototype of the their final swing suit. F fuck, their Tom Holland final swing suit. And I gotta say, it looks amazing just as much as toby mcguire and andrew gar andrew garfield right here and also green goblin is supposedly getting released soon so stay tuned for that but okay let's move on to the marvel legends yay A new line of single carded no way home figures here it is <laughs> making matt murdoch uh it's a new charlie cox head on a suited body pretty much know what to expect. A fine addition to the line though, now you don't gotta make customs. We got a new Zendaya MJ, which um, is a Zendaya MJ figure. And then we got Sandman, Thomas Hayden Church's Sandman. And I gotta be honest, he, he weirds me out. I, I don't know, I, I, I feel uncomfortable looking at this figure. I understand he was, a, he was literally like a Sandman in the movie, but this thing has like sculpted pecs and a smooth lower torso. He just looks like a naked man. Like if if I didn't know this was Sandman, I would have thought this was like some, some like random naked dude made of stone or something. I don't know, man. I wouldn't trust this Sandman around children. But yeah, that's kind of a big problem is this whole like mid torso section. It just looks really weird. It's giving me Ken doll vibes. And he just has like a diaphragm joint but it's like an old school diaphragm joint like from 10 years ago so he, he really doesn't look that good man he comes with interchangeable hands you know big hands but they're both like open like this and this picture right here is just hilarious incredible it would have been cool if he had like a fist or a mallet even though he never made one in in the movie but you know just like big hands like this come on man and then we got the final swing suit Tom Holland from Marvel Legends this time. Completely unexpected. I really wouldn't put it past them to just reuse the integrated suit figure again. But no, they made a new one, a new mold, completely new. And I'm gonna be honest, when they brought this figure out, my first thought was, wow, that looks like a Marvel Select figure. <laughs> I don't know, like... Them pulling it out, I, I really thought they pulled out a Marvel Select for a second. It looks just like the Homecoming Marvel Select. For, but no, it, it's a new figure and, um, you know, he looks pretty good. It looks like they actually put effort into this one, which which is appreciative. Uh, he's not perfect. Um, the webs look like they could have been painted better. Uh, his arms look a little long, you know, a little, little bit of a woody arms going on. The Tom Holland head is literally just the Homecoming head. Again, I mean, you know Hasbro, they had to reuse something. But yeah, man, um, it's pretty good. 
Will I get it over the figure arts? Probably not. If I do get it, it'll be a review, and then I'll give it to my little brother or something. But, you know, it's, it's, it's all right, you know? One thing about this figure I especially like, though, is that he is not short. Tom Holland figures are always made so short for some reason. Like, Tom Holland's not tall, but he's not fucking a head shorter than everyone else. So they finally fixed the height on this figure. And really, that right there put this figure on my good side. And then they revealed Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield with unmasked heads. Uh, I got some thoughts on these. So these are literally the exact same figures from the three pack, which pretty much makes those figures absolutely pointless. That three pack is a straight up scam and not many people are seeing it that way. It's, it's, there is no reason that three pack should have existed now. Tobey Maguire is exactly the same. They didn't even bother changing the paint. Like, look at this product image, dude. The, the silver's still shit. The Tobey Maguire head, um, you know, I'm really mixed on it. Because from this picture, it looks like ass. I was like, wow, that is really bad. Then my friend Mark, Amazing Wife Heads on Instagram, you should go check him out, by the way, went to, um, Toy Fair, I think, in New York City, and he took some up-close shots, and from from these pictures, the Tobey Maguire head looks pretty good. Not great, but pretty good. SH Figure Arts is still the best when it comes to the unmasked head, but damn, I don't want to buy that shit again, man. So the head may be decent, but the figure's still going to be complete ass, so... Uh, yeah, that's all I can say about that. Andrew Garfield's head, however, looks pretty good. That is Andrew Garfield right there. I feel like the hair could have been a bit more brown. Just something a bit off about it. But overall, it's pretty good. I would not be against you buying this Andrew Garfield. Because fuck the three pack. A few things, though. This Andrew Garfield is in TASM 2 packaging. Which tells me they could not make Andrew Garfield for No Way Home. But they can for TASM 2. So they've had the TASM 2 license all this time. And they've done fucking nothing with it. All those years we could have had Dane DeHaan, Green Goblin. And also, um... They're missing hands. So Tom Holland gets wall crawlers, fists, and the whippers. But Tobey Maguire gets... Fists and thwippers. And Andrew Garfield gets thwippers one fist, and one open hand. What the fuck? <laughs> Did they realize that the three pack would be worth nothing? So they were like, oh shit, uh, take out some hands. That'll get them to buy both. We want money. <laughs> you can't even get a re-release correctly. You gotta take some fucking hands out. W what the hell is wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Just more of Hasbro shady practice, I guess. That is bullshit. The re-releases themselves are not bullshit, but the original three pack, I mean, come on. It's worth fucking literally nothing now. Well, at least I got those exclusive web accessories. I mean, honestly, when, when saying all that out loud, uh, the No Way Home Wave is, is, to me, pretty mid, man. It's not good, it's not great, it's just fine. Will I get them? Uh... Damn, probably not. <laughs> if I do, it'll be to review, but as it stands right now, I'm not getting these. <laughs> I'm getting Sandman because Raimi figure. Uh, maybe the Spider-Man? Probably not. But you know what I am getting? Them villains. That's right. Hasbro actually did something cool, and they're making Green Goblin and Dr. Octopus. Now, what separates these figures from the three pack is that now they're showing actual prototypes instead of 3D renders. So judging by these pictures, the final product is going to look almost just like them. So there's going to be no misconceptions there. But I'm still going to be careful because when I first looked at the No Way Home three pack announcement, 
I was really excited. <laughs> and we all know I changed my mind. Green Goblin looks pretty good. He's not on par with figure arts. My friends are like, honestly, I'm not getting the figure arts anymore. I think it's shit because the Marvel Legends one. I'm like, no, 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 it's not. But this is still pretty damn good. The green is made of the marble plastic and a lot of it isn't painted, but the glider looks really good. It has the articulation where the glider's put together and it's got ball joints on the glider's pedestals, which is great. No other company has done that before. Legends is the first one. And that Willem Dafoe head looks amazing. They even included um, Green Goblin helmet. So that is a nice bonus. He never looked like this in the movie, but still that's really nice of them to do. And overall, yeah, I'm gonna get this figure. It looks good. It's 50 bucks, which for that price, they could have included one more set of hands. But overall, I'm not complaining. But my favorite Marvel Legends reveal has to be Dr. Octopus. New villain in town, Doc Ock. Oh my god, he looks incredible! Incredible! Alfred Molina's likeness is pretty good. The tentacles look properly long this time. And oh my god, they gave him articulated claws. I really thought they wouldn't do that, but they did. Not as articulated as Toy Biz, but you know, you can get the clamp action on both of them. They include bottom claws, so you can have the figure stand up on them. If they made separate claw pieces just for that, then I think they're pretty confident we can get the figure to stand up on just his tentacles, which I hope is the case, because that's bad ass. But one thing that gets me mad, okay, li listen, whoever took these pictures, why did you put the bottom claws on the top tentacles? The big claws are supposed to be on the bottom. The top claws are, are, are the little ones, okay? Get your facts right, okay? Just kidding. Obviously, the person didn't know that, but, you know, I would notice something like that. This one is a must-get. He's $40, which is fair. It's not great, but it's fair. And... This figure's in Spider-Man 2 branding. Um, the figure's clearly from No Way Home. So they use the Spider-Man 2 branding to sort of get Alfred Molina's likeness or something like that. Seeing this logo in modern day is so surreal. It almost doesn't feel real, but also it pisses me off because they've had the TASM license and the Raimi license all this time and they're just now using it? We could have had new Raimi figures and new Tasm figures, but they just never made them? What the fuck? <laughs> Please, make figures based off those old movies. You will get money. Put, put aside the X-Men for a little bit, okay? Please, I'm on my knees. Dwight, I will come over there and I will give you pleasure just to get some, okay? That was pretty much uh, all I wanted to talk about. Mostly good things to say, which is surprising, I know. And unless Hasbro, like, ships Green Goblin with, like, a big-ass splotch of paint right on the front of him, I think they'll pretty- I think these figures are gonna be pretty good. It's a good day for Raimi fans, so thank you guys for, um, letting me know about them. And I'm gonna go, um, yeah. Please stop asking me about them. This is Domo.